Good morning, this is Mayor Deluxa. Before I provide you with a weekly update, please understand that this video, my phone call, our email, and post to our website and social media accounts are all the same. This will be my last video for the time being, but we will continue to send a weekly recorded phone call, email, and post to our website and social media accounts. Fairlawn currently has 303 positive cases of the COVID-19 virus. As expected and predicted, the cases have increased significantly in the last week, with more people being tested. All individuals from Fairlawn are hospitalized, self-quarantined, or self-isolated at this time. 71 individuals have recovered. Unfortunately, Fairlawn has lost eight members of our community. Our thoughts and prayers are with their families. All of our emergency responders continue to provide service 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In regards to the payment of second quarter property taxes on May 1st, a delay can only be authorized and approved by the governor. It is currently under consideration. The Center for Disease Control is now strongly recommending that you cover your mouth and nose with a cloth face cover when around others. Scarves, bandanas, turtlenecks, and home sewn masks are all acceptable. You should wear a cloth face cover when you have to go out in public. For example, to the grocery store or to pick up other necessities or where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. As per the governor's executive order, you are now required to wear a cloth face cover if you enter into a restaurant or food establishment to pick up food. You are not required to wear such covering when receiving a delivery or when picking up food outside the restaurant or food establishment. Cloth face coverings should not be placed on young children under age two or anyone who has trouble breathing. Do not use a face mask, face mask meant for healthcare workers. Continue to keep about six feet between yourself and others. The cloth face mask cover is not a substitute for social distancing. We recognize trips to grocery stores, markets are necessities and essential, but please designate one family member to be responsible for such activities. Please dispose of your gloves and masks properly by placing in garbage containers. I cannot stress this enough. Continue to stay in touch and check on family, friends, and your elderly neighbors. Continue to dine and support our local food establishments. A full list of operational restaurants and food establishments is on our website. We'll be holding a council meeting work session tomorrow, Tuesday, April 4th, and it will be done virtually, live streamed on the borough's website and televised by Fairlawn TV on cable television channel 77 and Verizon Files channel 37. The Bergen Newbridge Medical Center testing site in Paramus is now open seven days a week. This is not the testing site at Bergen Community College. You must be a Bergen County resident and you must be symptomatic to, to be tested. You need to contact telehealth at 201-204-0712 to be screened and given an appointment. You cannot just show up to this site to be tested. The health, safety, and welfare of all our residents is, remains, and will continue to be our highest priority. Please monitor the borough's website and our social media accounts for updated information. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation at this time. We're all in this together, and we'll get through this together. Thank you, and stay well.